the review for writing and interpreting numerical expressions. Uh, first, we want to start off with PEMDAS review. That's parentheses, exponents, multiplication, divide. That's the same step. And addition and subtraction is the same step. So multiplication and division, we do the left from right in the order. And addition and subtraction is left from right as well. So the first one we have, Grady is 22 years old. His brother Gage is two years more than half of Grady's age. So first we need to find half. So that is 22 times a half. And we're going to put that in parentheses. And then we are going to uh, add two more years. So plus two. So 22 times a half plus two because it is two more years than half. So we got to figure out two or uh, half first and then add two more years. And then you could write that's gauge age at the end of that. Next, uh, 23 minus the product of a number in four. So uh, first we got to find the product because it's minus the product. The product's the answer to multiplication. So we're going to do n times four and take 23 minus that to give us 23 times, or 23 minus the product of n times four. Choose a different expression. Choose two different expressions to represent the phrase 24 divided by the product of 3 and th 3 times 3. So if I was going to write that out, 24 divided by the product of 3 and 3, so 3 times 3. So I notice B is a good answer for that. Another way we can write division is in a fraction form. So 24 divided by 3 times 3, so that will give us C as well. 24 divided by 9. So next we're just going to insert the parentheses to make it true. So if I just go from left to right, I got 23 minus 9. That'd be my first step. That'd be 14. 14 plus 7 is 21, so that's not equal. So one, one thing I do know, if I group my 9 and my 7 together, and I get 9 plus 7 is 16. 23 minus 16 is 7. So that would work. 26, since it's addition and subtraction. And we know that is the same going left to right. 23 plus 4 is 27. Plus 3 is 30. Minus 3 is 27. Plus 1 is 28. That's 2 greater than 26. So I need to reduce that somehow. And it looks like the only way I can reduce that is right next to this Subtraction, if I do this addition first, now I have 23 plus 4 is 27, plus 3 is 30, and then I did this first before I subtract is 40, 30 minus 4, which would give me 26, so that would work. So it would be 30 minus 4 equals 26. Down here, if I went just a straight method, it would be Multiplication would come first because there's only addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So 1 times 5 would come first. So it would be 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 3 is 12, 12 minus 8 is not 32. So I need to get a rather large number over here. So the only way I can get that relatively large number, I'm going to have to add some of these before I multiply. Let's go ahead and just put multiply parentheses around these first. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. So now, if I do those first, now I multiply. 5 times 8 is 40. Then 40 minus 8 is 32. So I need parentheses, parentheses around the 4 plus 1 and the 5 plus 3. Then I can multiply. 5 times 8 is 40. Minus 8, give me 32. Noah practiced basketball four hours each day for four days. So I know that's four times four. On the fifth day, he practiced for five hours. So then I'm just going to add the fifth day at the end. And it's just write an expression. So that would be 
uh, the hours Noah's practices all together. The number of hours Noah practices all together. All right. Choose three different expressions that represent the statement. Divide the difference of 23 and 5 by the difference of 29 and 12. So one way to write it, 23 and 5. So I'm going to find that difference and divide it by the difference of 29 and 12. So that's one way to do it. So that is B. Another way to do it, since this is division, is to write it vertically. So the difference of 23 and 5 divided by the difference of 29 and 12. So that's also D. And the last one, so if I have 23 over 17... minus 5 over 17. If I work this problem out, I get 18 over 17, and that is the same as this. So I know that answer is the same. Number 7. Which expression represents 14 minus the difference so it does not say 14 minus 7. It says 14 minus the difference. So I have to figure out the difference first. So these are the only two that have difference first. And it's 14 minus. So since it's the minus is right there, it has to be that one. Number 8, complete each expression to have the value equal to 9. So one thing that's going to help me, I'm going to put equal to 9 right here. And so... Uh, a lot of times when you have something like this, you can do the inverse operation. So since I'm dividing it by 2, so I can do the inverse. I'm going to do 9 times 2 gives me 18. So I know the top needs to be 18 because 18 divided by 2 gives me 9. So uh, 24 minus 6 would give me 18. So my 6 goes in there because 18 divided by 2 would give me 9. So first, I'm going to figure out what I need to get in this blank. 29 minus 20 would give me would give me 9. So I need 20 in here. So the inverse of multiplication is division. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So 4 times 5 is 20. 29 minus 20 equals 9. And for the next one, we have 2 times 3 is 6. So my answer, the answer I need over here, divided by 6 equals 9. I can do the inverse. Instead of dividing by 6, I can do multiply by 6. 9 times 6 is 54. So 54 divided by 6 equals 9. So I know that goes in there, inverse operation. Miss Montgomery's cat weighs 18 pounds. Her dog weighs two more than half her cat's weight. So first I have to figure out half the cat's weight. So 18 times 1 half. And it weighs 2 more than half. And plus 2 equals the dog's weight. Miss Montgomery's dog weight. So 18 times a half is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. So Miss Montgomery's dog weighs 11 pounds. Eleven pounds is the dog. So there's the review. Remember, uh PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division together, left from right. Addition and subtraction together left from right. All right. Good luck, guys.